there, welcome to another video from the Vickers MG Collection and Research Association. This video is going to showcase some of the ball firing that we've done recently and show some of the demonstrations of characteristics uh, that we were demonstrating on that day. So in the 1941 pamphlet on the Vickers machine gun, the mechanical training, one of the first lessons is a familiarization for those troops that are about to go under training and that covers this demonstration of characteristics. Now there are some things that we can practice on the range today and there are some things that we can't. So loose tripods, things like that, you know, swinging traverse, isn't something we can easily do on the gallery range that we were at. Hopefully it's something we can replicate in the future on a field firing range. Uh, but we picked out a few that we could. And this video showcases the rates of fire. So actually we're looking at the normal rate of fire and the rapid rate of fire that we demonstrated from the Vickers. So the Vickers fires a 25 round burst on every occasion and it's the gap between the bursts that determines the rate of fire. So the normal rate of fire has an eight second bur uh, gap between bursts and the rapid rate has a two second gap. And what that means is in, a, in the normal rate of fire, you're expending one bout every two minutes so you know, 125 rounds per minute. And in the rapid rate of fire, you're doing one bout in one minute. So that's the um, 125 rounds in 30 seconds. We went through 125 rounds as, as the manual dictates, you know, to show that half about uh, doing these different rates of fire. And this video shows that. You know, we, we fired nearly a thousand rounds from two Vickers and a Bren that day, and we experienced just two stoppages on the Vickers. So around 700 rounds went through the Vickers, just two stoppages, a separated case, and a feed stoppage where one bout had been reloaded and a round had come out of the bout slightly. So it was a number three, a third position stoppage. Before we can do this though, what, one of the key things is to make sure that our people are trained to be able to do it. And we've recently published this training manual, the Safe Use of Small Arms. So this is a manual that uh, myself and uh, one of the colleagues in the association, Tom Waite, have put together so that we can use the guns safely on modern ranges. So this is to modern standards. There are some nuances within the historical PAMs that can't be replicated on modern standards today. So like the separation of the load and the make ready rather than just a single load command. Um, you know, what else is there? The, you know, the, the make safe is slightly different, things like that. The unload is slightly different. And what we had to develop as well were normal safety precautions for the Vickers. So that's something that we shared a while ago. Uh, we also developed those for the Bren, the Lee Enfield rifle and the revolvers we have in the collection. Um, and they're documented in the back here. So one of the things that we're doing is all of our uh, servants, the registered firearms dealer servants, will have to go through the full uh, and assessed training material ahead of some of the shoots that we'll be doing this summer, which we'll share more with you uh, very soon. And to do that, they'll need a copy of this material, but we're also making it available to anybody else as well. So it's available on our shop to buy if you use the Vickers or if you're just interested in how the Vickers works. It covers a syllabus that has been set by um, a Ministry of Defence organisation, the Defence Warden organisation, and it uses a level 2 NVQ, vocational qualification standard, to, to assess that. So it's, um, it's based on a formal qualification scheme if you want to understand it. And if you have the opportunity and you have accreditation or authorization, then get in touch because it's something we could, we could deliver to you as a training course as well. Uh, so let's move on to the, to the firing clips and I'll talk through them as we see them. Demonstration of the Vickers Mark I machine gun, a normal rate of fire. A 5.25 round burst with 8 seconds in between. At the figure 11 to your front, in your own time, go on!
So there we go. That was five bursts of 25 rounds at the normal rate of fire. And you know, that would be about, you know, say, about a minute. And you would then repeat that to, to finish off the belt. As you can see, we put in um, gaps in the ammunition belt just to control the 25 round bursts because it's not something people are familiar with. Uh, much more used to five to seven round bursts, as you'll see later when we demonstrate the Bren light machine gun. So now let's take a look at uh, the rapid rate of fire. So that's with only two seconds between bursts. To the figure 11, to your front, in your own time, go up! Five seconds between. It's two. Two. A slight error of drill on pulling the belt full through meant we had to half load again. Now, some of those uh, gaps were a little bit longer. Again, it's sort of familiarization with the guns themselves, but also with just two seconds between bursts. So, um, you know, that's something to improve upon uh, for us, but it's clearly showing that rapid rate of fire. Uh, but the guns were not hot after this. It was quite interesting that the barrel casings on both had not boiled up and were, um, you know, ready to keep going. Now, as you can see in the background, we also had a Bren light machine gun, so we put the full 125 rounds through that too. Ready! Listen in to the detail and the practice. You will fire the 1944 demonstration of the Bren gun at rapid rate of fire, which is 125 rounds in one minute. To the figure 11 to your front in your own time, Go on. Got the gun, magazine off. Unload. As you can see, we had a stoppage with the Bren, a feed stoppage for the magazine. We were still able to maintain five magazines of 25 rounds each within about a minute. So I've left that in there showing us how we cleared that. Um, you know, the Bren is a great light machine gun. It's not a sustained fire weapon. It's on a fixed line tripod, not a sustained fire tripod. The Vickers would have been able to carry on this rate of fire for hours. 
hopefully you've enjoyed that uh this is something we'll be doing more of throughout 2022 and you know please do subscribe like share the videos please do support us on patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash vickers mg please remember to buy a copy of that safe use of small arms manual if you're interested in how the vickers works as well as books like the pride of the emergies uh, that we have available on our shop as well lots of uh, material available get in touch you know, share what you know about the vickers please engage with us um and here's another look at the normal rate of fire and a quick note of thanks to adam blackmore hill for doing the film work on the day truly appreciated great quality material thanks adam Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.